Hello, my name is Luke Cutforth. I'm a YouTuber and director, and this is The Love Sessions. Interview with me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for coming down. I know That's you're right. a very busy man. You've come from London to come and chat with us today, so thank yes. you. <laughs> we all know how terrible the trains are. Yeah, it's <laughs> um, But first of all, you know, for anyone who, who doesn't really know about you or doesn't know what you right. do, tell us about your YouTube career. Okay, so I started YouTube when I was 15. Um, and I started by just making little short films and that's how I wanted to be a filmmaker. Can you remember what the first ever YouTube video was that you uploaded to your channel? Yes, it was dreadful. <laughs> it was called The Diary of a Vlog Virgin, uh, oh which God. was me. And I spent the entire time uh, going vlog and I had my dog in there and I thought that like to be funny was like just to randomly cut in my dog, right? And so I was like talking about something and then every so often it would just go, Woof! And my dog would be there, and then I carry on talking. That was like peak YouTube, 2009. Overall, what is the most gratifying part of what you do on YouTube? Honestly, I like this is going to sound really like fake, and, <laughs> but I don't mean it to be in the slightest. Honestly, it's when people come up to me and they're like, "Oh, I, uh, what you do helps me get through the day, right?" Because you know, YouTube's my job and has been for a while. But I've never, like I said, I've never sought more subs or more yeah. success. I'm just very lucky that the thing I get to do for fun also lets me pay my rent. How did you find that kind of, the difference between making yourself more vulnerable to your viewers compared to, you know, the, the facade that you wanted to put across in the first place when you started your YouTube channel? The actual facade, I think, is my real life. Yeah. Like, I talk about things online that I wouldn't talk to my parents about or to like my friends. And so when I made a video like years ago, like 2013, 14, called My Depression Story, or a video called like, To People Who Self-Harm, where I talked about my self-harm experience, my parents didn't know about that. And I was in, when I made the one about self-harm, I was upstairs in their house where I lived. And I was making videos about self-harm and they didn't know that I self-harmed. And so I suppose while I definitely have cultivated to a certain extent a persona, I think the real persona is the one I have in real life. Yeah. And the online me is sort of more real me, more vulnerable me. Um, let's talk about the film. Yes. Um, Drowning of Arthur Braxton. Yes. First of all, what's it about? Okay, so my elevator pitch that I give to everyone when they ask this is, a boy called Arthur Braxton runs away from school where he's being bullied, hides in an abandoned bathhouse and falls in love with a water nymph. What it's really about is about like a, a young boy thinking that certain things will fix his life and then realizing they won't. And I think that's, we all have that. We think like having loads of followers on Instagram will fix our life or like falling in love with the right person or well, having a boyfriend or a girlfriend will fix our life. And they don't, right? And without spoiling the film, Arthur finds out that they don't. Um, I know recently you were kind of in the final parts of production. How are you getting on with that now? Do you have a release date? No, no? not release date. Um, I've been saying it's like a month away for about two years. Um, and it's still not, Continuously. Still not here. <laughs> um, where I am is a week ago I finished my job. And that's amazing. Like I watched it with like nearly done sound and music and visual effects and colour and all this. And I was like, and I kept forgetting that I had like, a, I had like, a, yeah. Done. <laughs> well, no, no, I kept forgetting that I made it, oh. <laughs> which was amazing because I hate everything I've ever made, right? Just because everyone creative hates everything they've ever made. And I, I'd had a few like wines because like, oh, I'll just sit back and drink some wine and, <laughs> and watch my thing. And I kept been like watching it like I'd watch a normal film and going, oh yeah, <laughs> this is mine. This is my, oh, cool. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> amazing. Well, I'm looking yeah. forward to it. I want to see this whole, you know, water nymph. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> like, I'm pretty excited about yeah. it. Like, but um, thank you so much for coming and talking to us about it. And, you know, I hope it goes well. And when it is released, we'll all we'll be going to watch it. Thank you. <laughs>